In today's video guys I will show you how you can boost your FPS in Cease 2 by tweaking the window settings. After these settings you will experience smooth gameplay in Cease 2 without any lag and stutters. So without wasting the time, let's dive into video. In the very first step guys you need this smart tool. You can download it with just one click from the link in description. After download run it as admin. Now that the optimizer has opened up, we'll start from the general tab. For each setting, if you don't know what they do, click on them to open a dialog box that shows exactly what they do. Hit OK and follow along with me to change the settings. Starting off, optimize the performance. Do the same for the optimizer network. However, keep in mind that disk makers may increase in ping sometimes. If it does happen, come back to the program and disable it. Disable error reporting, compatibility assistant, as well as print fax, sticky notes, and smart screen. Most of these are self-explanatory, but if you're printing or using fax, enable these services. For the disk drives, don't disable the system restore point as it can be useful. Disable superfetch if you have a mid or high-end PC. Otherwise, leave it enabled for low-end PCs. Do the same for hibernation. As for NTFS timestamps, leave it as is. Disabling search will stop the search service but not all search features. Disable Office Telemetry, Mozilla, Google, NVIDIA, and Visual Studio apps if installed. For privacy, disable telemetry tasks and media player sharing unless you're in a work environment with home groups. Disable SMBV1 and V2 protocols as they've been replaced by SMBV3. Then we move on to the Windows specific settings. Now, for this one, there are a lot of things to do. The first one is to disable my people. Just leave this one, it's really personal preference. Enable long quads, yes. Disable TPM check, yes. If you click on it, it shows you that it bypasses the secure boot and TPM to point zero requirement, allowing you to upgrade to Windows 11. If you want to, you can, but I would just keep it disabled in case I want to upgrade in the future. All this does is just import a single piece of registry, that's all. Disable sensor services, yes. Then remove cost to device, yes. Enable classic volume mixer I would just leave it as is and restore the classic photo viewer. Of course, yes, I want the classic photo viewer. Moving on to the privacy settings, inside of here. Just go ahead and use all of these. Click on them one by one, and they should be like this. As for gaming, once again, enable game mode, disable Xbox Live, and disable the game bar, for touch. You want to go ahead and disable everything once again unless you are using a touch display. Now for Windows Update, it's a little bit interesting. What you want to do is go ahead and disable the Microsoft Store updates, disable Insider Service, and exclude the drivers from the updates. However, you want to enable the automatic updates. The reason we are going to do that is to update your Windows first, then come back here and disable the automatic updates. Simply go down to your Start menu. Go into your settings, and then go to the update and security section. Inside of here, just check your updates and install them if you want. Install those updates, then come back here and disable the automatic updates. Moving on to the startup, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll run you through it. All you need to do is select the ones you want to remove from the startup or loading up with your Windows. Just keep in mind that you don't want to remove anything that may need to start up for your games. For example, Valorant needs Riot Vanguard to start up with Windows, so I'll keep it as is. Once you've selected the ones you want, click Delete, hit Yes, and it's going to remove them from the registry. Now guys click on Restart to apply changes after Restart your PC, you will get maximum performance of your PC for gaming. That was today's video guys I hope you like it, hit the like button and make sure to subscribe, bye.